Okay. Hello. Hello everybody, I am Loreto Di Rienzo, uh, director R&D of the uh, Pattern Group and founder and director of the house. The house is one uh, uh, urban laboratory when uh, we concentrate the technology and material for organized the project uh, about a new, new, new product, a new material in the sustainable direction. Uh, now, today, we introduce uh, one uh, project, uh, the start of the project, uh, when we want uh, representing the uh, supply chain and the, how the supply chain is ready for the responsible and sustainable uh, product. The title is The Value of Technology Manufacturing. And uh, we want to show the new system and method to make the responsible product. Uh, it's very important this project for us because the manufacturing supply chain is ready and uh, is possible um, concerning uh, every step uh, from the ideation, from the uh, digitalization, is possible the new technology help for uh, have more and more sustainable or responsible uh, material. Uh, today we uh, speak about the specifically uh, technology, what uh, um, is possible help in the uh, customization side and uh, personalization. And it's very important because uh, uh, this type of technology work in the end of the, the cycle, the production cycle. Uh, thank you for uh, my uh, speaker. <laughs> And I introduce the first from uh, Framis Italia, Federico Pizzo. Uh, after from uh, Stratasis, uh, Enrico Toson. And uh, in the end from uh, Colorill, uh, Tobiorn Beck. I wish is uh, correct the name. Please, Federico. So good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you, Loreto, for the invitation and uh, for the introduction. So uh, today, I'm going to talk to you about uh, nozzle bonding technology. Uh, but before uh, talking about this technology, let me introduce you uh, to what bonding technology is. So bonding technology is an alternative way to bond fabric pieces uh, together in apparel. Uh, using uh, hot melting adhesive tapes uh, to bond fabric together. Uh, this technology was developed uh, in the 80s uh, to restore the waterproofness of the garment, but, but nowadays it uh, can be considered a responsible uh, uh, innovation and technology because uh, it helps the industry to um, uh, resemble and uh, um, decorate uh, and revamp uh, shoes, garments, and uh, accessories. Uh, Noso technology is a patented bonding technology developed by Framis Italia, uh, with, uh, which is the only uh, company around the world who is able to uh, supply both uh, the film tapes and patches uh, um, and the machines to apply them. Uh, so, uh, mainly, uh, okay, no, sorry. <laughs> okay, so mainly we supply two kind of products. Uh, the first one is uh, the one side adhesive uh, uh, tapes and film that is used to uh, mainly decorate uh, uh, garment and uh, to uh, make a functional application. And uh, the uh, two side adhesive tapes and film that are uh, mostly used to uh, make functional application and structural application. Uh, as I was saying, uh, we are the only company able also to supply to our customers not only the product, but also the machine uh, that you can see here at the fair working in the, the house stand. Uh, and uh, uh, in the latest years, uh, we are working more and more on machines that are able not only to uh, work on uh, uh, garments and on 2D garments, but also on uh, uh, finished garments and uh, um, three-dimensional garments. That means that we are able to um, work on garments that are already finished in, in order to uh, or restore them, repair them, but also to uh, revamp them, to give them a new life. 
So these are the three main areas of, uh, of use of our product, uh, structural product and structural application when you need to ensemble the garment and so during the production. Uh, the functional product when, where you need uh, some, to enhance some specific uh, function of the garment, of shoes or accessories, and the decorative area uh, where you need some product to embellish and decorate garments. So these, uh, those are some uh, ideas and some uh, application of our products uh, related to uh, footwear and accessories. Uh, especially our product can, be, can, work, the, uh, can work with uh, different uh, technologies like high frequency and can be used uh, to uh, detail some product or, or give them uh, an identity, uh, putting uh, letterings, logos, uh, and pictograms on uh, accessorized uh, uh, shoes and garments, or uh, you can use also in a decorative way, like, uh, um, like uh, pretend to fixing uh, some uh, uh, garments or accessories, or to really fix it. So, uh, which are the advantages of our patented technology? First, uh, our technology is uh, really easy and fast uh, to use uh, and because uh, when you want to revamp or restore a garment, uh, thanks to our hot adhesive tapes, uh, you don't need to, uh, sti uh, to stitch or cut or modify it. Uh, then uh, it is uh, really easy and fast to use uh, and when you work on uh, some garments uh, you don't need to unstitch them, modify it uh, so to change uh, uh, the garment to have uh, another solution. And then uh, as I was saying about our machine, uh, we, can, we are able nowadays to work on three-dimensional and finished product. Uh, we can say that so we can say that uh, our technology is a responsible technology for four main points. The first one is that we are an highly verticalized company, so we are able to supply to our customer uh, our, prod uh, our product without making any stock, so we don't have any uh, industrial waste. Then uh, our technology is really easy and fast to use, so uh, our, our uh, customer can use uh, uh, them without, it without uh, uh, stitching or cutting or modifying uh, the, uh, product, their product. Um, then uh, it's possible to have no stocks of our product and then it's uh, also, is also possible to have no stock of product and resell them because you, you are able, thanks to our product and our machine, to uh, revamp uh, your uh, shoes, garment and accessory and resell, re-put them on the market. And also uh, we are able to uh, go uh, to camps, uh, to go towards uh, our customer and fashion brands that are moving uh, always uh, more towards the customer-centered approach. Uh, all these advantages and features of our technologies uh, is uh, sum up in this project that we presented last week in London uh, in partnership with uh, Nike. Uh, we had Nike to develop this uh, technology that's called Bill, both initiated longevity lab, that is uh, a robot uh, able to uh, restore the shoes of a Nike customer and we help uh, uh, Nike supplying them uh, the machines and also the patches. So this is like a short video of how Bill work. So the first thing is that you want to repair a sneaker. Uh, so you scan it. Uh, then uh, there is a special foam that clean uh, the already used uh, uh, shoe. And then uh, the robot take our uh, pet developed especially for this machine, and then an operator go on the press and uh, put the patch on the, on the shoe. Thank you for the attention. I think I'm the next, so. Okay, so first of all, uh, good afternoon from my side as well. My name is Enrico, I work for Stratasys, and uh, actually I've been working uh, 
with uh, Dillon first and then Loreto for, for a few years now. And we've been really working on taking our technologies, which is 3D printing, into the textile and fashion world, okay? So I wanna start from a different angle. Since we're talking about sustainable manufacturing, I would like you know, to share very briefly and quickly what our company is doing in that respect. Okay, 3D printing, which is, you can think of it or like a synonym of additive manufacturing, at the end of the day is per se, by default, I would say, a sustainable uh, kind of technolo manufacturing technology. Why? Because it's meant to use, a, let me say, only the material that, you're, that is actually needed to build uh, any kind of product and uh, is very sustainable also from a supply chain standpoint because you use and print, basically you produce, at the point of use, okay? We will try, you know, I'll try to make it uh, a little bit uh, easier for you to understand. Quick uh, uh, snapshot about Stratasys. Uh, founder Scott Crump started uh, 33 years ago and he invented the most widely used uh, 3D printing technology in the market today, filament, out of the US and, uh, and, and uh, we've been innovating on and on for years after years, uh, and we're still doing that together with our partners like, uh, uh, like Loreto and, uh, and Dilon. We put uh, ESG, we put sustainability at the heart of the company since a couple of years, because we understood that despite owning and being a leader in additive manufacturing, we have to really look 360 degrees to make it really part of our DNA, and that's what we did. Pure from, a, let me say, a, a manufacturing standpoint, we like to talk about mindful manufacturing, okay? What does it mean from a, you know, from a company's leading additive manufacturing and 3D printing? It means uh, understanding how it can uh, impact uh, supply chains, how we can come up, you know, we ever improve technologies to consume less energy, how we can be more efficient, how we can develop materials that are more eco-friendly, they are recyclable and so on. And all these things we're trying to do across the board and it's, uh, you know, it's part of a, of a plan which we share with our you know, um, investors and, uh, and shareholders and, uh, and our customers and we wanna you know, keep driving in that direction. So we're extremely happy to work with a company like uh, you know, D House in such a, a, a <clears throat> an interesting project. I was, you know, let me try to give you, a, 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 again, not so much in, in let me say within text that, but explain why additive manufacturing is important. You can print, as, as I mentioned, only, let me say, you use the material that you only need to produce a certain part. You can do it with the, with the best possible materials. You know, take uh, an example like in the um, aerospace industry, saving weight with thermoplastics uh, and, uh, and polymer technologies equals a lot of saves in terms of fuel consumption and, uh, you know, helping on a sustainable approach. As I mentioned before, the technology allows you to basically produce at the point of use without, you know, uh, expensive and long kind of supply chain journeys. So on average, what we see, you know, you can, you know, if you really start adopting and deploying this kind of, you know, additive technologies, you can really shrink your supply chain time, you know, uh, for provisioning on new products and so on. So you go for months to weeks. And of course, you can think what it means when you, you know, study your kind of sustainable impact across your value chain, you know, what it means, you know, just impacting a, a supply chain with those kind of timing. Oops. Right. I don't want to go into the technology. Technology is, is, uh, is like, I mean, the one that we use uh, for textile, which is actually what we officially introduced this year in March, is, is the same kind of technology that you use for standard, you know, 2D uh, paper, you know, 2D printing. It's little drops that get solidified, you know, with special UV lamp when they get out and they are able, they make you, you know, able to produce pretty much anything. And uh, we just took it to textile. I don't know if you're aware, but again, you can see both the technology and samples uh, at the uh, <coughs> the house uh, booth, <laughs> A15 to A19, if I'm not mistaken. So the the beauty of this technology is, uh, you know, that it brings a completely new range of possibilities and personalization capabilities into the fashion and textile world. All of a sudden, you know, designers are able to completely have a freedom of design because, I mean, with such a technology, you can basically produce anything you can think of. You can print directly in full 3D on, uh, you know, on fabric or also on finished garments. It's the, as of today, the only three the printing technology available uh, for the textile industry, so pure 3D printing. 
okay? Some of these uh, main characteristics and elements, as I was mentioning, you know, freedom of design, <coughs> interesting for, you know, to really come up with innovation and, uh, and new, new styles, uh, shorter time to market, of course, being fully digital, it not only impacts, uh, let me say, the production part of uh, a development of a garment, but also the, the design of it, which is done completely in a digital way, and uh, it enables very strong uh, and really uh, customization and personalization, and last but not least, it does it in a very <coughs> sustainable way from manufacturing standpoint. Here are some examples. Uh, and again, if you want to see more, I really suggest you go to the booth. Uh, those are examples of, uh, again, printouts three, uh, done directly on a pair of jeans. If you want to customize, if you want to recycle, if you're thinking about, you know, taking what has been out of stock and then, oh, sorry, out of stock, you know, for end of stock and you want to uh, turn it into something different, again, the technology allow, allows you to do that very easily and in a convenient way. These are, again, some examples uh, of works that we have done together in the past uh, months uh, uh, together with uh, with the house, in this case also with the Walmart company, and this is you know just in case if you wish you know or are more interested, that's a URL where you can find even more information. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Turbian Beck. Uh, welcome here, everyone, and uh, thanks the house for inviting us to this speech and uh, having us in the booth. Uh, so Colorreal is, uh, is a Swedish innovation brand uh, that have a totally new uh, technology to uh, make the embroidery world more sustainable and more colorful. So if you walk into an embroidery workshop today, you see thousands of reels. Uh, if you have an embroidery machine with 10 heads and you want hundreds of colors, you need to multiply that. And when you're running a new embroidery, maybe you don't have the color you want, so you need to order some, uh, which make uh, transport, lead time, and uh, design uh, frustration. So this was the idea when we came up with uh, Coloril. So uh, with our solution, this is a digital printer that you put on top on any embroidery machine in the world. Today there are more than seven million embroidery heads in the world, and you can put a color reel printer on top of, of one. So what, what you do in this is that you take a white thread of a recycled material, and you put it through the printer, and you can get any color you want on the design. This is a nice design uh, made by D House, and uh, also you get sort of the design freedom of digital print, but the quality of embroidery. So design possibilities are endless. I will also send this around, because very interesting, if you look at the back side, if you're only using one single thread and color it, it's very different from when you have to do a lot of lock stitches and other things. So I send it around so you can check it uh, while we're speaking. And the machine you can have on a single unit. Uh, many customers today do uh, on-demand uh, production, personalization, using a single head unit, samples. Or you can use uh, several of the units, putting it over a multi-head uh, machine. So today, uh, you're moving away some, from having thousands of, of reels in stocks, only needing one uh, white uh, thread. Uh, you can uh, do as many colors as you want in one embroidery. Uh, sometimes today, if you do very high fashion, many colors, you need to do some part of the embroidery and then take away the reels and put on new reels and do it again. But with our solution, you can just keep on running and doing the designs. Uh, another part that is a challenge for the industry today is how to be more uh, sustainable. And with our solution, you don't use any water in the coloring uh, process. Uh, so you, we reduce the water amount with 97%. Uh, you don't need to throw away a lot of, of reels that you don't use. Uh, in some industries, they throw away like 50% of the embroidery thread they buy because they're filling up the stock with new colors. And that's not a sustainable uh, way in the future. And uh, we also use 100% recycled uh, material. 
So it's, it's a very sustainable solution, and at the same time, it gives you a total new freedom of design. So this is just some example of, of a different uh, coloring design you can do. And uh, you see up here, we have some uh, gradients, impossible to do uh, with traditional embroidery. You can also mix and match different uh, pattern as you do with this hole here in the middle. Uh, up on the right hand side here, you can get metallic and shadow effect. Uh, that is very difficult to achieve. It looks like it's, it's metal or, or, or printed. And you can do any color that you have today and, and so many more. So the design possibilities are really making the, the community of designers and digitizers very exciting and, and we are happy to work with many of the leading uh, companies. And the trends are, that is supporting this and, and why it is interesting. Uh, today we have more than 100 installations of, of these digital printers and, and we, we are rolling out uh, in 15 countries right now. Uh, the digitalization is driving this uh, and make it possible. So today you can take it from a design idea over a web interface into production in a seamless process uh, with our unit. Uh, also, we talk about upcycling and, and uh, producing near shore. We see a, a trend very strong in, in uh, Europe and US that you want to make the final decoration closer to the customer and, and do smaller series of production. And this is very easy with this technology. And then, of course, uh, the growing, growing trend where you want to have something unique, you want to personalize it, you want to produce it on demand. It's a very suitable technology for this. So if you want to see more, uh, this is an example of, of a fantastic embroidery made by the designers of, of the house. Come to visit the house in the booth, see the machine live, and, and it's, uh, it's an amazing effect to see a white thread come out to uh, something like this. Thank you so much. Only thank you, everybody. We wait in the space uh, all uh, nine, a 15, uh, 19 for every question because we are, I think, a little bit outside the timing. Thank you very much. Bye.